do excuse me. I've lost my voice recently. I've got a cold. It's not COVID. Um, but basically, I thought I'd just take this opportunity to give you some ideas about what you could be doing over this half term, because it has been an intense period. If you've just started year 12, you'll, it'll be a completely different way of working. You've got new teachers, a lot more independence, and at times, it can seem really, really challenging to many of you. Also, of course, if you're in year 13, um, there's the fact that you're maybe thinking about UCAS applications, you know that you've got your real exams at the end of this year. And again, um, some of the work does get a little bit complicated. So what can you do over the next few weeks? Well, the first thing is, if possible, have as much rest as you can. As soon as you go back into school, it's going to be intense. It's going to be getting dark in the evenings. It's going to be getting colder. And it's just not a great time of year. So if you have a chance to rest, that is brilliant. And that means catching up on your sleep, catching up with friends and so on. Now, the other thing you can do if you've uh, got the right kind of circumstances is catch up with any work that you've missed. Maybe that's sorting out your folder. Maybe it's completing any homeworks or doing any reading around the subject. The kind of things you said you were going to do, but then never quite had time to when you're actually in school. So in addition to resting and trying to catch up with yourself, this is going to give you a great start as soon as you go back into school in the week or so. Now, the other thing that I think you could be doing if you are an A-level physics student is having a go at some extra questions to help really kind of shore up that basic physics knowledge that you're going to be working on and building on in all of your lessons. Now, um, this is where I think you can use this book or even this book. Now, I'm going to be completely honest, I would like you to buy the book. That means it helps me because I earn a small amount of money. I think from the £9.99, I earn about £3.50 before tax uh, from the sale of the book. So not a huge amount of money, but you know, if a few thousand of you buy it, that'd be amazing. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I want you to buy the book. And that allows me to keep making videos and keep developing the website and other resources. Now, the other reason I want you to buy the book is because I genuinely think it's going to be useful to you. So the first one is book one, and this has, has questions. Um, which are basically for every single day from July all the way to the end of October. Now, even if you haven't got the book at the moment, or if you currently do have the book, you could still work through most of this book in a couple of days. Okay, and that means, um, you know, maybe missing out some of the easier questions that you're completely confident with, and maybe just working through those which you find a little bit more tricky. But ultimately, by putting the prep, by putting the physics that you're learning in school into practice day in, day out, that's going to make you better at answering physics questions. So I reckon this book would be great if you are in year 12. If you're in year 13, you can also get book two as well, which really develops a lot of the skills and the kind of knowledge that you did in year 12, because any tests and exams that you might have are going to build upon the knowledge that you did last year. So if you're in year 13, I recommend that you get book two, and I reckon you could work through the whole thing in a couple of days. Um, and I think as I flick through it, um, if you're doing A-level physics, you'll realise a lot of the topics that these questions are about. So ultimately, I want you to buy my book. And in return, if you do the questions in the book, I know you're going to be a lot more confident with the physics. And ultimately, that means you're going to do better in any exams and get higher grades and so on. But let me know what you think in the comments below. So yeah, half term, have a bit of a rest, make sure you do catch up. And if you're doing A-level physics, just buy my book. Um, of course, another thing I do have is alevelphysicsonline.com. If you want to go across to my website, uh, you can download a whole set of derivations. I made 40 of the most important derivations, and I've got them there in a completely free download that you can access now. Just head over to the website there. Um, and uh, at the moment, there's going to be a lot more development going on behind the scenes and more resources being added. So some exciting things happening this year. So, yeah, hopefully all of you have um, are feeling better than I am. Hopefully you haven't lost your voice and you can now spend the next few weeks just recuperating, ready for the term ahead.